For our wall balls and double unders, there's a few tips that can make a huge difference in how you feel during these movements. The biggest one on the wall ball is absolutely continuing your breathing. I like to exhale during the squat portion and inhale as the ball is in the air. If you ever catch yourself holding your breath, you need to get back on that rhythm. You can move way longer continuing to breathe than without. So make sure you exhale during the squat and inhale at the top of that movement. Now, if you start missing the wall, the ball is going high enough, but you're not hitting the target, try to point your thumbs at the target. Once you drive up through your arms, push your thumbs forward and that should help you hit that target. Finally, is we wanna be in as much of a good squat position as possible, which means we need to have that ball sitting on top of your hands rather than you squeezing the side of the ball. So think of palms underneath and elbows underneath. The ball should be right in front of your nose. As we go to the double unders, low shoulders are relaxed shoulders here. Think of back and down with your shoulder blades and try to really relax your traps. If you find your shoulders kind of creeping up towards your ears, try as best you can to bring those back down. As we're down there, keep your hands by your pockets, especially as we get some high fatigue, the hands will want to elevate and get further away from your body, which will then shorten your rope and you'll trip. So keep those hands in close. And using the wrist is the best way to do this is to use your thumb and forefinger as kind of a pincher. And that will be your main point of contact with the handle on your rope. And the other fingers will just be there to kind of hold it. And then focus on bringing your thumbs up and down. As we're doing double unders, the bent knee is okay, but we don't want a broken knee or a fully flexed knee. So the little, the least amount of knee flexion possible is going to be the easiest to repeat, right? A smaller movement is going to be easier to repeat than this bigger movement with more energy. So try not to pick your feet up like crazy. If we don't have double unders at all yet, one of the biggest things that I like to do is do at least five singles before. And then as we're doing singles, we don't really need to be concerned about the second rep. So you want to give yourself as much hang time in the air as possible. And that will actually forego that broken knee theory. So we will jump higher, pick your feet up, and give yourself more and more time to get that rope underneath. 